prenuptial agreements, what we call prenups, are captured in the Matrimonial Property Act 2019. It's pre, which means you agree before the nuptials. And uh, what is the document all about? Just to state to the between the two of you, what uh, what regime will govern your property? And those who agree, everything we acquire beyond this, it's ours. If we ever parted, it's fifty fifty. Uh, but it also covers property acquired before marriage, and so you find they are very popular in people going for second marriages, maybe after divorce or death of the former spouse. Why? Because I think um, they have more complex property issues to deal with. Their children who are interested in their mother's property or their deceased father's property, so they fear you may get married with their, their property. Um, are they encouraged? I think they, they should be encouraged, especially for second marriages. For first marriages, uh, it's really hard to tell people who are very much in love that anything of that nature is helpful because then they are very hopeful and they think we'll be open to each other, we'll never divorce. It's very hard to introduce them to people who are getting married unless their mindset is that way. So I would encourage them for second marriages also to remove the suspicion that the new spouse is coming to grab. Uh, but also to govern very emotive property, which is a matrimonial property. I find children are very attached to, especially the mother's house. She's the one who married ahead of before the father. So you find they will always have suspicion that the stepmother is going to keep it. So there are many fights after the death of the man. So it would be nice if it's stated clearly what happens to it upon the death of the sister.